welcome back to my channel today I'm back with an empties video I haven't done one of these in a while but I also feel like I just did one so I will link that one up above and down below if you guys haven't watched that one there are a couple of things in this haul I don't know if I should call it a haul in this empties video that was is also seen in the previous one so let's jump right in it's just a random stuff um, between makeup and body stuff and all the stuff I don't know, that doesn't make sense. So the first one that I see right here is this Purity Made Simple Pore Extractor. Now I had seen this from um, Danny from Coffee Break with Danny, And she swore by this and she loved this. Um, I would use this probably once a week. It did last a while. It finally dried up. Um, but so it lasted a good amount of times for as big as the sample size was. But I didn't love it as much as she did. Now, before I keep going with this, remember this is just my opinions on the items that I have used. Everyone's skin type is different and everyone reacts to different things. So she swore by this. I'm glad I got the trial size. I mean, it's all right, but I didn't feel like I felt a huge change. The next one that I'm going to go over, you could barely even see the, um, the writing on it. It's... I think it's like Tartalus or Tartius, tar something like that. And it's a double ended eyeliner from Tarte. And this side is like the felt tip. And last time I did this, it like stayed on me forever. It's very dried out right now, but usually it's very, very shiny. Um, I probably could even still use it for a little bit, but it's usually like a really shiny, bright um, eyeliner. And this side has actually finally broke off. I liked this side. I preferred this side more. I'm more of like an eye pencil kind of girl. Um, so I like this one. I had gotten this whenever Ulta was having their, I don't remember what it's called, beauty days or something when they pick two items for that day and it's 50% off. That's when I got this and I think that's the only time I would get this. It was a little pricey and it didn't actually last on my eyelids for as much for as pricey as it was the next item is this Maybelline big colossal what is it Colo the colossal big shot this one is actually one that broke I had bought one I had bought this one and the wand is actually still in there and so I had to buy another one I was pinching it out with tweezers for a while to try to use it but it was just a lost cause but I do like the size of the bristle and the wand. I like one that's more chunkier of a wand. Um, I don't like the really thin plasticky ones. You know the ones that are really hard? I'm not a fan of those. Um, I feel like they're those are for more length and not so much volume. And I feel like this did a good job doing both. The next item, Makeup Revolution London Conceal and Define. Now I use this. I think I used two of these. I love the applicator on this. I know a lot of people don't because, you know, bacteria stuff, bacteria and stuff, but I like that you could just place it on different um, parts and go from there. If you see on my hand, it does oxidize. Okay, so here is what it looks like. And whenever I first would get it, I fell in love with that color because it looked very like yellowy and I feel like I'm more of a yellow tinted girl. Um, but I'm going to show you in a little bit what it oxidizes to and I feel like it's totally different. So I feel like it turned more red. I'm in the shade F12 where that's one that I used and I'll show you. We'll go back to that. The next item that I used up was this Clinique Moisture moisture surge and this is a moisturizer and it claims to be a 72 hour moisturizer and i used it all up i went back and forth on this and then finally i hate wasting stuff so i was like i just need to finish it even though i didn't love it now it has a consistency of like a silicone i don't know i feel like this lays like on top of your skin and you could feel like silicone on top. I don't like that. I feel like I'm more of a lotion-y kind of girl, but I think I had gotten this in a Clinique three pack or some, or I just tried it for the 72 hour because um, hydration because my face is really dry, but I didn't love it. 
Um, I purchased something different. It's a Neutrogena cream. There's one that feels like this, like a dupe for this. So it's from Neutrogena, but I didn't get that one. I got the cream one. Um, and I probably wouldn't buy that one again. So the next one that I have is this Tommy Girl Cologne. And I got this around Christmas time and went through it pretty fast. I like to leave a perfume in my car. And this is the one that I was leaving in. And it was about $15 around Christmas. It is a little bit cheaper around Christmas. You get a bigger bottle than it, what it is regular price in the store. But it's still not even that expensive. I think it's like 20 bucks. And this reminds me of high school. Now, if you are new here, I cannot smell. But I feel like a lot of people wore this in high school. So I feel like it smells good for some reason. So I just started wearing it. I know that's really sad, but it's what you have to do whenever you can't smell. This next thing is this Bior for your pores deep cleansing strips. Now, I have I have been enjoying these a lot. I think this is my second box, and what I do is I use the no one knows ones regularly, put it on, but then these face ones I'll cut them up, and I get a lot of blackheads like right here, right here, and then on my chin area. Don't know why, but that's where I get them. So the face ones, I'll just cut up and just place them right along where I need them on that I see like blackheads. And the trick is you don't want to like wet it so much because the longer, the more you wet it, the longer it takes to dry. And these could, it could take you like up to 30 minutes for it to completely dry. And you want to let it completely dry because whenever you go off and peel it, if you don't let it completely dry, it's not going to stay on and you're going to leave white residue on you and it's like a waste of a strip. So you want to let it harden and completely dry and then you see some funky stuff. Like I'm fascinated by all of it. I love looking at what comes out. It's like gross but really fascinating. I don't know if you agree but I actually like it. I have tried the Target brand. Um, I'm not done with them. I think because I don't love them. I would spend a couple, like, two more bucks to just get the Bior Strip ones over the Up and Up brand. Now, this um, next item is a simple moisturizing face wash, and I use several of these. I think if you look in the past two or three empties videos, I was using this one religiously. But after a while, I'm just, I was so tired of, um, this would not close course it's closed right now but after I would wash my face this would always stay open and so much would leak out like it wouldn't close all the way and if you um know me I love pumps so I decided to switch to something different I mean this still got my makeup off and everything but I just decided to change it up so what I went to is this ultra gentle daily cleanser foaming formula from Neutrogena and this is actually my second bottle I love it. It takes off all my makeup. It has a pump and it foams. I love when things foam because I feel like that's when it's working. I know where I'm like actually washing and it is gentle for my skin. It doesn't leave me dry. So that's a plus. And yeah, I'm on my third bottle of this. It's a pretty good size. It's about eight or nine dollars at Walmart. In between the simple one and the Neutrogena, I had purchased this Garnier Skin Active. Now I do wash my face in the morning and at night. So I go through a lot of face wash. And this is a refreshing facial cleanser. And honestly, at the time when I bought this, I was in Ulta and money was tight, budget was tight. I just needed a face wash and I found the sun clearance. Would I ever purchase this ever again? That's a big fat no. Um, I didn't love it. It's not foaming at all. I felt like, you know those really cheap body soaps that we get for the kids like at Dollar Tree or just really cheap and it's like body wash and shampoo and conditioner all in one and it just feels really cheapy and weird. That's what I felt like I was using on my face whenever I used that so would never purchase that again. This is the body wash that we use. I or I use me and my daughter. Uh, we get the three pack from Sam's Club and this one is the Orchard Orchid? Orchid? Wow, I can't speak. Orchid? Is it orchid? Right? Orchid, orchid, and black currant. And, I mean, I don't know how to smell. I don't know how it smells. It smells pretty, but um, I like that a little bit goes a long ways. It's very foaming. It leaves my skin soft. And I just, I think I'm going to be purchasing it, like, forever. This is another fail. I actually purchased this because of Desi Fuente. Went this, went this, De Desi, Desi, oh my god, I actually purchased, 
Desi Fuentes is like, isn't she like the clothes person? Anyways, this is from Desi Perkins on YouTube and Instagram. And she always uses this, I think, before her lotion on her face. So I tried it and I absolutely hate it. I felt like it smelled, like I could smell certain things. And I felt like it reminded me of sunblock. And it was very sticky and greasy. And it was for dry to very dry skin. But I hated it. I tried to go through it so fast because I hated it. And I don't like to waste stuff. And I just, I couldn't. I couldn't do it. But I had to go through it. Funny thing about this, this is a Johnson Baby Moisture Wash. I was in a rush at Walmart one day and I needed um, shampoo for the girls and I just grabbed this. But um, So we use this moisture wash. I mean, I'm guessing this doesn't say, I'm guessing this is just body wash, but I used it for like their hair and stuff. I know it's not for their hair because it just felt weird in their hair. But they love the smell every time I would wash them. They love the smell and it's in Honey Apple. This is a Vino. Now this is the one that we use on a regular. We get the two or three pack from Sam's Club and it's a Vino Daily Moisturizing Lotion. We go through these like no one's business. We have very dry skin here where we live. It's the desert. So we go through these um, a lot and fast and we love them and they work. They're not too thick, but they're not too thin. I almost forgot to come back and show you guys what the makeup looked like on my skin. <laughs> it's like, oh, it's blending in just right, but it, it's not. I'm gonna sh show you guys. I promise it's not. It looks like it's my color, but it's not. I don't know if you can tell, I have very veiny hands, but it is more pink and it's not coming off on the camera like I want it to be, but in person it comes off more pink. I'm gonna try to take a picture of it. I have two more items for you guys. We went through this lemon verbin, verbena, verbena, sure, uh, Mrs. Myers spray on my last Grove Collaborative haul. I'll link it right here. I accidentally bought this scent. And I didn't know how it was going to smell, but a lot of people like it. So I went through that. Um, I just use Mrs. Myers to like when I don't need like a disinfectant and just like a really quick cleanup on the um, counters. That's what I use it for. Now this is a Method Heavy Duty degreaser, and I actually did like this. I actually did. It did it what it needed to do. It cut grease and everything. So I would purchase this again from the Grove Collaborative site. But that is all I have for my empties video. Um, I will also leave my Grove Collaborative haul. If you guys want to try it out, you guys get, if you are new to Grove, you guys get a five piece set for free if you use my link down below. I'll leave that down below. If you guys are new here, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button. If you guys enjoy this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. And I'm sorry I'm speaking so long. That was like 15 minutes of product. You guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.